Hey there everyone, how's it going? Shar Mr. Peace here. And if you're looking at the gameplay right now, you're probably confused thinking that is this Battlefield? It looks this map looks a lot like Metro from the, the Battlefield franchise. But what's with these graphics? It looks all low poly and Roblox like. Like what is this? Well, this is Polygon. Polygon is a dynamic multiplayer team first person shooter, which you have a battle on a large scale of maps using various weapons with up to 32 players properly managing your existing arsenal skills and you have to lead your team to victory basically but it basically sounds like a battlefield clone and with good within good reason but i'm not going to be checking out the game specifically now it's been in early access since around last year and it's also free to play uh it has up to 16 v 16 their player modes but what i'm specifically focusing on today is the metro map with the latest update of the game and i've you guys have probably been if you have been keeping up to date with the battlefield community a lot of people have been just losing their minds that the developers have taken the time to recreate or reimagine their version of metro and gosh i gotta admit it just brings back so much nostalgia i remember playing battlefield 3 and every iteration of the metro map i mean you have battlefield 3 with the return to Carcan DLC and then it was remade in Battlefield 4 which I'm pretty sure I did a cover a uh, cover video a while back so if you want to check that out the link is in the in the cards above and below but also I played a bunch of it on in Battlefield 5 it's just a map that much like Call of Duty's Nuketown the Battlefield franchise this is Battlefield the Battlefield franchises uh, awesome meat grinder type of map and it's really fun and this game it though despite its cartoony art style and low poly aesthetic it is very hardcore the TTK is fast the weapon damage model is satisfying you can heal by going to med, med station and healing up and I've only been playing this game for only a half an hour and it's quickly become so fun and as you guys know I've been just on a binger lately of just checking out games that aren't battle that are like battlefield but is in battlefield like i've played a bunch of the games in the uh, series so many times and i'm a i still love battlefield despite the shortcomings of battlefield 2042 but right now as up until the next update is that's supposed to come up in i don't know summer i've lost track at this time but it's gonna be a while before battlefield 2042 turns itself around i really wanted to turn around so in between to fill the gap in my heart i've been checking out other videos so as you guys know previously i checked out another game called called crows if call of duty and PUBG and battlefield had a weird baby mix and that was what the game came out to be it's made by korean developers and i was streaming a lot on twitch this past weekend but this game came up on my radar because i started to see a lot of youtubers covering it just for metro alone and half an hour in i'm having a blast even with the setup weapons just the starter weapons i'm still unlocking my way through and basically i'm on rank three as you guys can see but i've had a lot of fun just finding those nooks and crannies those little little head glitch spots and just going on a rampage and carrying the team and it was just fun i, I haven't had this much fun and i feel like battle i hope battlefield 2042 has some more maps like this even I know Portal has some remakes and everything, but I really want Battlefield 2042 to bring some core maps, core CQC or infantry focused maps, which I've been having a lot of fun with this game, especially with its hardcore mechanics. You can lean, you can, there's no proning, which is weird, but I guess it's supposed to may pay homage to the original Battlefield Bad Company. I don't know what the developers really want out of this game, but it is made in the Unreal Engine, and I've noticed a trend with Unreal Engine first person shooters that the tends to have this look to him and this weapon handling i guess i don't know i've not i'm no game developer but it really has that insurgency sandstorm vibes and but it has this asset pack that i've seen so many times used in on android android games and android or uh mobile games but so far this game's been shaping up pretty fun now i did promise on my streak of hardcore or tactical shooters that i will be covering world war 3 i still need to do that my computer is currently down so which is why the uploads were really stilted this week but hey we hit recently a little bit over 270 subscribers so i wanted to thank you guys for coming out we're not too far from th hitting 300 so if you're new around here hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell i'll leave you guys with some more gameplay and snippets here from polygon if you guys are interested in me uh, checking out this game or if you have any game suggestions to fill that void for the battlefield that is missing in my heart, 
let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking forward to suggestions and hearing from you guys in general. Nevertheless, this is Sharm C signing off. Enjoy the clips, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.